Hi guys, this is Waj, and in this video, we'll be taking a quick look at the Sigma 10 to 20 f/4 to 5.6 ultra wide-angle lens. This lens is probably one of the best price lenses if you want to get an ultra wide-angle lens. It has a little bit of a zoom feature, up to 20 uh, millimeters, but I, I guess most people uh, would be using it at 10 uh, millimeters. So let's get right into it. Let's look at some of the benefits of this type of lens. So the Sigma 10 to 20 millimeter is one of those lenses that I think everyone should have, especially if you have a crop sensor DSLR. It is designed for APS-C size sensor cameras. You can also use it for the Micro Four Third system as well as some other camera bodies. But one of the great things about it is that even at 10 millimeters, uh, which roughly equates to about 16 millimeters and 35 millimeter equivalent, is really, really wide. Uh, in fact, when you're just minimally one foot away from any kind of subject, you can pretty much get a 160 degree viewing angle, uh, which is really great, very versatile, and uh, you can use it in many, many applications. And just like in typical Sigma fashion, you definitely get a lot for your money. Uh, it, the lens is very, very sharp, uh, even wide open at f4. Uh, there's very little chromatic aberration, and the performance is just as good for photos as it is for videos. Now, uh, one really important thing to keep in mind that it is an f4 to f5.6, so it has a variable aperture range, and it's very important that when you're using it, even at f4, to have adequate lighting. So if you're shooting indoors, make sure you have a lot of light in there uh, but if you don't have a lot of light you can still make do with practical light and bump up your ISO and these days ISO 1600 is uh, fairly well usable especially if you're uploading it uh, to do videos on YouTube. Now just to give everyone an idea of what 10 millimeters looks like on like a T2i, T3i or any APS-C size sensor camera body, uh, what we can do is just take a look at your kit lens uh, that is 18 millimeters, which is fairly wide, and we have it set to about 18 millimeters on this lens right now. And when we zoom out to 10 millimeters, you can see the huge amount of uh, field of view that you gain from that. Uh, with that, of course, you do have a little bit of barrel distortion. Actually, when I say a little bit, it's quite substantial, especially in the corners, but it gives us a cool effect, especially if you're using this on a steady cam or, or going around uh, different places. It gives you this kind of surrounding kind of effect, and it's definitely not as extreme as a fisheye. One of the biggest highlights of this lens is definitely its build quality. It's made like a tank, it's surrounded by this rubberized material all the way around the lens, which uh, definitely adds a lot of grip and it feels really, really solid when you shake it. None of the internal elements uh, move about and the overall build quality is really excellent. But probably one of my favorite features of this lens is its autofocus system. It actually has a hypersonic motor in there, that's why it's actually an HSM lens. And uh, yeah, let's, let's take a look at how fast it is and how quietly it focuses. Now you may have had a hard time trying to hear the actual motor inside, but it is really, really that quiet. I was as close as possible as I could be uh, to get an accurate kind of sound measurement, and it's very, very quiet. In uh, everyday environment, it's, it's near silent. Now just to give you a comparison of what a non-HSM lens from Sigma sounds like, here's the 24 millimeter f1.8. Just to give you guys a quick example of how this lens performs in terms of image quality, I just uh, lit the scene real quick. Uh, it's very simple, it's just using practical lights. And uh, we're just looking, we're focused on Bumblebee. Uh, and in this shot, we're just about three feet away from it. And even at three feet away from the subject, you can pretty much get everything. And as you can see, everything is also pretty much well in focus. The shot over here is only about five feet away from the subject. And you can see the crazy amount of field of view. Uh, even if you're in a tight space, it makes really everything look a lot bigger than it really is. Now let's just move a, a bit closer. We're just about one foot away from Bumblebee now, and you can still see him and a little bit more. And uh, we have a little more separation from the background to the subject, uh, but there's still a great amount of field of view uh, at 10 millimeters. 
So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this ultra wide angle lens, uh, let me know in the comment section below or message us on YouTube. And uh, I'm actually using this lens to actually film this video right now so you can get a good feel of, of what it's like. I'm actually just probably less than a foot away from the camera itself. So if you're in a tight space and you wanna make things look really big, uh, this is really a great lens uh, for you. And uh, again, uh, one of the reasons why it is a little bit cheaper than most of the other ultra wide angle lens is because it is an f4 lens um, the tamron tokina and 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 canon offer uh, faster lenses at f2.8 but really that's good for getting more light if you're looking in for shallow depth of field separation from your subject to the background most wide angle lenses are not going to give you that because again the wider you are uh, the less uh, uh, the the more deep depth of field that you have uh, consequently the more telephoto the the shallower depth of field that you have but if you're interested of in getting a wide angle look with still a little bit of shallow depth of field for indoors and also getting separation uh, from the background if you're doing film or, or any kind of video work uh, I would definitely recommend to look at my review on the Sigma 24 f1.8 it's also priced pretty reasonably as well considering what it does and I urge you to check out that video but if you have any questions on this lens please let me know and uh, we'll see you later take care